New at 10 o'clock tonight, a Columbia County Sheriff's deputy shoots at a dog, but winds up hitting a woman standing on her front porch. Seven on your side's Maureen Glisevich joins us now with the body cam footage KATV has obtained and the lawsuit filed against the deputy and the department. And be warned, you may find parts of this report disturbing. Maureen. Tina Height still has the bullet lodged in her shin. She's now not only dealing with anxiety, but also continuous doctor's appointments. She initially called 911 for help, but instead was shot on her own front porch. Take a look. Get back. Get your dog. I'll kill him. Get your dog. You better get that. Get your dog. I'll kill Columbia County Deputy Brian Williams fires a warning shot, but that quickly escalates. You better get back. I'll kill that. Kill that kid. Get back. Now pay attention to the bottom right of your screen. You better get back. I'll kill that. I didn't shoot her. Williams appears to aim at a Pomeranian, but instead hits Tina Heights, who is standing right next to another deputy. Very scary. I've never been shot before, so I didn't know where I was. I mean, I knew I was hit. I didn't know how bad. I didn't know, you know, I, I, I didn't understand. Nearly one year later, the bullet is still lodged in her shin. Her attorney, Trey Kitchens, tells Seven on Your Side the deputy's actions were beyond negligent. He missed. He didn't hit the dog and instead shot my client with his fellow deputy standing about eight inches from my client. It is by the grace of God or fool's luck that my client isn't dead, another deputy isn't dead, or someone in the house isn't dead. I'm nervous to ever call it the police again, that's for sure. Um, I expected them to come from my protection and instead I was the victim. The lawsuit also names Columbia County Sheriff Mike Lowe. We also are alleging that the sheriff of Columbia County clearly did not train him, did not educate him, and if that kind of behavior is appropriate in Columbia County, there's a bigger issue with that department in general. Kitchens adds he hopes to take this deputy off the streets. Anybody who's seen that video knows that gentleman doesn't need to be a dog catcher, much less be carrying a firearm and squeezing off rounds. I requested the deputy's personnel file in search of reprimand or suspension documents, but none exist. It's unclear whether the deputy has gone through additional training because of this incident. However, his file does include training certificates spanning over several years. Chris. Maureen, thank you. We have requested a statement from the attorney representing the deputy, the sheriff, and the department in this lawsuit, but we have not heard back. KETV has confirmed with the Columbia County Sheriff's Department that Deputy Williams has been neither suspended nor reprimanded. Hi everyone, I'm Cassandra Webb. Thanks for checking out the KATV YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click the subscribe button and don't forget to download the KATV News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.